Shalom. This is Judah J. Targeted individuals. Your stalkers need your attention and they will give you certain facial expressions and eye expressions to let you know that they hate you. Now, this is the trap you'll fall into when you decide to give them an audience with your acknowledgement of them. They're operating with familiar spirits, along with many other wicked spirits from Satan's kingdom, which they have accepted. And those spirits, when acknowledged by you looking at them, will do whatever they can to make you feel uneasy, scared and to keep you in a consistent fight or flight mode. Now, I'm not telling you to close your eyes when you're in their presence. That would be weird and strange. But when you feel in your spirit that they're around you, avert your eyes in another direction and move past them. You know how to do this in a way where it looks like you're not avoiding them at all. So do it. This tactic is something that I've learned to use over the many years of me recognizing that I you know, have been stalked and monitored. And what I found out is that using this warfare tactic, which is really what it is, it's a warfare tactic. I've learned that I now have developed a unique comfortability in my skin that allows me to go anywhere I please and to be around whoever I want to without feeling that overwhelming sense of being watched and stared at and tormented. You see me make videos at the lake and at, you know, I used to make videos where I was in my room, where I was going through all that and now I don't do that no more. Now, of course, this is nothing without indulging in consistent prayer to the most high God of Israel in Yahushua Hamashiach's name, which a lot of you call Jesus and trusting in him to make you feel comfortable and by giving you what you could call um, uh, a supernatural ability to trust in his words of promise that he's given us uh, protection and deliverance, uh, strength from his hands. This is what I've attained. This is what we can attain. Now, we can do nothing without the Lord. So he must be at the forefront of your every thought and your every decision, every thought and decision that you make. This is this warfare tactic that I'm telling you to use will then make these strange stalkers act. They'll make them act in a strange way. Now, remember. They just want to keep you in a consistent fight or flight mode where you're suspicious of everything and everyone. Because, you know, if they give you these stares and gazes, they're, they're, they're you know, they're, they're getting on their phones whenever you're around or when you're seeing them cough or throwing up wicked hand signals and other signals to alert other people. See, they want you and me to be aware of all these things so that you attract the spirit of fear, which is not of God. And then. This heightened fear can actually lead you to become a prime candidate to be possessed. Yes, possessed by other wicked spirits that only want to control your mind, your every thought until you possibly give in to the fear and give up. That's the goal. Then in some way, when you are very weak and worn out, these perps will approach you with a deal some in some way to serve their God, which is Satan, in order to make the torment stop. This is how it works. You see how this works? They want to feed off of us true TIs like we are batteries, like the Matrix. Batteries that they get power, strength, and elevation in this world from Satan because this is what it is. To destroy someone with God's spirit is the sacrifice they need to obtain in their deal with Satan to get what they want from him. To show him that he is their God and they serve him wholeheartedly, right? They have to show him that. Now, Satan wants the praise and the honor from God's creation. So whoever gives him that honor by being a, used as a conduit, right? Spirits coming in and out of a conduit for his pleasure. They'll gain uh, temporarily. They'll gain temporarily everything they may want. But ultimately, they will lose their very soul. Now, this tactic, I hope you use it. It's an averting, averting of the eyes. You know how to do it. You're walking. You could be in a room walking and a whole bunch of people will be around you. But then it's like you're not really looking at everyone. You know what I'm talking about. You avert your eyes. It doesn't look like you're strange. You're just walking. You may be looking around. But when you're when somebody's in front of you that you got your spirit, fit, it tells you this person is monitoring you. This person has something in them that is that you sense in your spirit. Ain't right. You avert your eyes. You can be walking in a whole room and not really looking at anybody. That's the tactic that I'm telling you. The spiritual war. That's a warfare tactic in these days for true target individuals to use in order so you can get outside of that shell that you've been in. 
get outside of that room. Uh, you say, oh, I don't want to go to this place. I don't want to go to this place because I don't want people looking and staring at me right now. I want to just be comfortable. I just want to go in and do what I got to do. I want to feel okay again. See, a lot of people, they ask me, they say, there are a lot of targeted individuals that say they're targeted individuals. They say, well, if you're a true targeted individual, then you know, uh, you, you're not going to want to go out places and do things because you, you don't want to have that sense of everybody's watching you, this fight or flight mode. Everybody's making you feel uncomfortable. They're getting on their phones whenever you come by, which they do, which they do. They're, they're coughing, which they do. And when that, that coughing is actually them sending out spirits, that's in it. The spirit in them is acknowledging your presence. If you are a true target individual, I believe you're someone that God is using. The most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in, in Yahushua Hamashiach's name. That, that's another video. But I believe that those spirits in these perps, when they start coughing, is an acknowledgement the spirit is giving through, is sending out through them that they're uncomfortable because they're around you. That spirit in you does not identify with the spirit in them because God's people have power through his Holy Spirit. So when a demonic evil spirit is in that presence, it gets uncomfortable. I've seen them when I come by, they'll just turn away. I've seen them so many times I'll walk by and let's say I do acknowledge them. When you are walking in the ways of the most high God, you're cleaning your house and you are actually consecrating your temple by denying your flesh and by serving him, by by truly serving God and obeying his commandments. These spirits and these people, these perps that hate God, that have sold themselves, these people that have sold themselves out, they have spirits in them that go against God. They hate God. So when you come around, they will get uncomfortable. They will start to avert, to avoid, try to avoid you. I've even seen them turn away completely when I come around. Or they'll turn away and look the other, like, they'll be, I'll walk and I'll be seeing them and I'll see them just acting normal. And then all of a sudden I come around, they completely do a 360. And they just turn, even look, some of them have even looked on the ground like they're, like some weird muse, some weird thing. They're just looking on the ground now. And they're not moving at all. They're just looking on the ground. And then, and then. I'm, I might turn back around and see what's going on. And they're walking right back normal once I pass. So the spirit, this is spiritual warfare. And so they want you to acknowledge them with everything they have. They need you to acknowledge them, what they're doing, how they're uh, making, trying to make you feel uncomfortable in other. They want you to acknowledge this. So now that evil, that spirit will get into you. It'll start to change the way you think in, in your mind. You'll start to be uh, more aware of them and the things they're doing. So now your fear is going to heighten, which is not of God. He says, I've not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. So now you're operating in their playground. When you operate in the spirit of fear, you're operating in, in the in the Satan, Satan's playground and the people that he is using now can take advantage of you. So then what normally happens is when they know that you have been, your fear has been hit heightened because the spirits in them alert them that your spirit, your fear has been heightened. So when you're walking around with all this fear, T.I., real T.I., know that your perps know what your spiritual, your spiritual signature is doing. They know what, what, what spirits in you. So if you're operating in fear, they already have that spirit of fear in them as well, right? Because they, they're serving the following. He's of fear. He's of destruction. They have that. So now they're aware it's not just it's not just devices and instruments. It's a spiritual thing we're dealing with. There's wheat and there's tares. The tares have this going on with them. Satan's spirits, his fear, and all of his other evil spirits they deal with. So when you they want to get those spirits in you and me, the real TIs, they want to torment us. So when they sense it in their spirit, now they're alerted. They don't just need the, the devices to find out which where you're at. They don't need just devices to know what your uh, emotions are, your emotional state. They don't need devices to know what you're thinking. They don't need devices. Maybe some of the lower ones do. The ones that have just probably sold their souls and are now uh, starting that path in the broad road with Satan, becoming perps and following us. But I'm talking about the season one, the witches, the warlocks. They don't need to have devices to sense what is going on in you. They don't, you know, they don't need devices to know oh, he's, she's afraid right now, or she's feeling, um, she's feeling some indecision right now. Oh, he, he's feeling like he wants to do this evil thing right now. They just know because the spirit is speaking to them in their ear. I've been trying to tell y'all for this for years. They have an actual voice speaking to them in their ear. They have that voice. It's a spirit speaking to them, telling them things about us. 
familiar spirits and they have a myriad of other spirits, but they just want to get you to acknowledge them so that now you'll be on their playground and they can move you any direction they want because they know what's going on in you. They know your biological stuff. If you're if the if the fear is making you sick, if the fear is making you so everywhere you go, they know, oh, he's going to look down because he, somebody's walking towards him. This fear that we're putting in him every time he sees us, we're getting on our phones, we're looking down, we're coughing, we're, we're every all of our tactics that are classic to what happens to us. They're like, oh, it's working. So then that's all they want to do is get a, our mind stayed on that. So now they can use us as a battery to drain us of our resources, our natural resources, our, 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 our minds, our thoughts. They want our, our flat, our, our, you understand what I'm saying. Avert your eyes. It's a tactic that it, that, that is used hundred percent. It works. And then as you're praying and you're getting closer to the most high God and you're asking him for faith and, and, and him and the trust in him, then you will become more comfortable to where you can be able to go out there and it'll just be the way you live. You'll just be walking around knowing possibly that things, but then soon you won't even be thinking about them. I'm trying to tell you what I know. There'll always be a sense of I'm in a situ an other type of situation. I'm in an other type of environment because I know people are paying more attention. But here's the thing. Not everyone is paying attention to you. The enemy wants you to believe that everyone around you is paying attention to you. Everyone around you is sensing something about you that's off, that's other, that's wrong. And then once they do, he has enough of his people out here because the spirit, like the matrix, goes into these people. If they don't have a relationship with God, the most high God and Christ, Yahushua Mashiach, a lot of you call Jesus. If they don't have a relationship, they're an open door for spirits to come in and out of. So a lot of people you see. A lot, not even going to know what they're doing when they are looking at you or staring at you or, or just like at that right moment, get on their phone or start coughing. A lot of these people don't know because these spirits are jumping in and out of people that don't know the Lord. So the thing is, you have to act. No, you have to. He says, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. So then when you have the knowledge of what's going on around you, now you can you can you can fight this battle. From a, from a sense of offense rather than just always being defensive. I'm always defending. I always have to watch out for every. No, you, 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 you know what's going on around you. So now you what do you do? You use the tactics, you use the, 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 the skills that you've learned in your targeting being as a being a target individual in order to help you to navigate you through these waters. So now you know what to do. You know what's going on around you. Now I'm giving you tactics. The main tactic is to trust in the most high God, read his word, consecrate your flesh, get away from sin. But then the other tactics that we can use that I can specifically tell you because of my targeting and all the years that I've acknowledged it is to avert your eyes. It's, it's a great tactic. So you, you, pretty soon you'll just be able to be out there amongst everyone else. Go to places that you want. That car that's, 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 that just pulled up when you came, you won't even... It won't even trip you out the way. It's always going to be weird. It's always going to be different and strange. But then now you know that I have a re there's a reason why it's happening. I've been chosen for a, a reason maybe that you don't even know now. I've been chosen because my eyes are awoken, awake, awakened to these things, abnormalities, all these weird occurrences happening. And most people don't have this knowledge of these things. People watching and following and monitoring the coughing, the color coordination, the honking and the, all the other things that they do. We know these things. We are special people. I'm not saying we're better than nobody, but we're special people. There's God wants to use us in a way. And I've always told us, told you. He wants us, he takes us through the fire so that we'll turn around and help others. It's always, it's, nothing that we go through is just our experience for us to go through alone for no purpose. We go through these things in order to turn around and help our brethren. We are our brothers, our brothers keepers. We are supposed to be a light to the world. Of course, Israelites scattered to the four corners of the earth, which are the Negroes, but the world if you are truly going to serve the most high God and in Yahushua HaMashiach, which a lot of you call Jesus Christ, you have to truly be your brother's keeper. Love your brethren. You have to be willing to be on the front lines and, and to be used by God so that you can go out there and, and show Christ to a lost and dying world. And, and, and what I'm telling you is sometimes you got to go through some hard things. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego had to go through the fire and they had to go through it and trust in the most high trust in him that he would deliver them. And they said, you know, whatever happened, I, I just put my trust in him. They put them in the fire and they 
Christ was right there with them. They didn't get burned. They didn't get singed because they had faith. That faith is what kept them from getting burned and from getting singed. That faith is what kept Peter walking on that water and looking at Christ doing something supernatural, doing something that is not natural for man to be able to do, to walk on water. What? Are you serious? That is the faith that's required. He took his eyes off of Christ and he fell. You take your eyes off of Christ, you fall. You take your eyes off of these. You take your eyes and you keep them on them, on Christ. And then you listen to people that have gone through experiences. The Most High God also says that you should be guided by, you should, this is an advice. You should have a mirror, a whole bunch of wise counselors. Don't make decisions without having a whole, like having going to wise count, going to other counselors that will help you. Now I'm talking about, I'm not talking about everyone's a counselor, not everyone's a counselor, but I've gone through these situations. So I'm here to give you strategies and tips that are actually going to be useful for you in your day to day walk as if you feel like you are a target individual. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening to this video. I hope this helped you. Uh, if you like to subscribe to this, this channel, I it'll be a blessing. Uh, put the Please push the thumbs up button because the algorithm, it sends people to the channel when there's lots of thumbs ups. Um, and also, like, share, subscribe. And if you would like to donate to this channel for any reason, you could go through, do it through Cash App, which is dollar sign Judah J Talks 144. That's dollar sign J U D A H J T A L K S 144. Um, anyways, I, this is you guys, this tactic is amazing. Uh, of course, it's nothing without prayer, but the, hey. If you want to go outside again, if you want to go to the lake again, if you want to be around a whole bunch of you, you drive up in your car and you see other cars, you don't want to turn off. You want to actually be feel like you are normal again and just park with everyone else knowing what's around you. But then when you don't, when you avert your eyes, you don't look at them and and, try, and witness all the evil they're doing to try to get your attention. That takes a load off. And as you keep doing it, keep doing it, you just start to feel completely on top, knowing you got purpose, knowing knowing God's with you, knowing that all of this is for a reason, knowing that even you're walking through the fire, trusting in him. He's the one giving you that ability not to be uh, 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 feel overwhelmed by that stuff when you do that. What I'm trying to tell you to do. He's the one. It's not just you averting your eyes. No, no. You got to have knowledge of what's going on. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. You got to have knowledge of what's going on. You got to have a consistent relationship with the most high God, serving him in spirit and truth, obeying his commandments, denying your flesh. You fall. I fall. We all fall. You get back up. You truly with a true heart of repentance. Come back to him. You got to be willing to be willing. Anyways, this is Judah J. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, y'all, shalom. Oh, yeah, drink water. It's good for you. You can feel my love. You, 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 you can feel my love. The magnetic essence, the twist of Freud, the toys, the big boys, the expensive suits, the kid and the crush, the winner of truth, and the golden misplaced, the steps with the red, the dead spun like threads, against kids in the Gen X meds, life for the mental, the med boys, the max, the slow down, and made foul, the brain waves of Zion, only dying but Orion got the deity thoughts, the new age hopes, blotted and wrapped. Soaking and hijack message that legend get casted and locked and wrapped in a patch of cognizant dissonant crap. But we pack strength in backpacks with holes so the foe can't go up the road and get stuck in a stagnant motion. No emotion, lost in the sauce and trying to pay no cost to rise above the flaws. Just a sad story paid for and slow like the oldest trick you can ever know. Figure it, but still the drip of bad dreams and frequencies and misdirected by deities and spell chains without an ounce of love. The blood of sacrifice is the price he pays to protect us from the well thought out rage that's pain to trap us in the maze. But you ain't getting phased by that, is you? You ain't getting phased by that, is ya? Uh, you can't